right, boys and girls, it is time for our writing lesson. So what we're going to do in writing today is we are going to make a journal entry. And we're going to be doing lots of journal entries while you're at home. So let me show you what that looks like. The first thing that we're going to do up here in the corner is we're going to write the date. So today is March. You can write M-A-R for March. It is the 30th, 2020, and you can just write the number 20. So we have our date, March 30th, 2020. Now the next thing I want you to do is we are going to write about the book that we read, Posey the Pig. So what we're going to do is we are going to write about the character. Now we talked about the character. We talked about how the book Posey the Pig was all about Posey. So we're going to write about that in our journal today. We're going to say the book the book was all about posing. Period. Because that's the end of my sentence. Now I want you to see I started my sentence with a capital letter and Posey gets a capital letter because that is her name and names always get a capital letter. So that is my first sentence. The book was all about Posey. Now I want you to make me a second sentence and tell me something about Posey. So I'm going to write Posey wore a wig. That is my second sentence. So I've done two sentences. Now, when you are doing your journal entry, I do not want you to copy my sentence. I want you to use your brain, think about something you remember from the book, and write that down. Don't forget to use your finger spaces. That's how Miss Burden can read your writing. Now I've done my journal entry. I need to add a picture so I can see. So I'm going to draw a picture of Posey the pig. And remember, when Miss Burden is teaching, I do fast pictures and I like to sketch them out. When you are doing your work at home, I want you to take your time. Add colors, make it detailed, do as pretty of work as you can. So I'm going to do my pig here. This is Posey the pig. She has some ears here. But <clears throat> my sentence says Posey wore a wig. So boys and girls, what do I need to add to my pig? <clears throat> I need to add a wig because that is what I said. My picture always has to match my sentence. So now I'm gonna get a different color. In the story, her wig was green, so I'm gonna get my green marker so I can draw Posey's wig. A wig is just fake hair. So here is Posey's wig. I'm just gonna color it in a little bit. Remember, Miss Burden is doing a very quick sketch just to show you what I want from you. Now, one thing that I forgot on top is my name. Now, this is always important. Anytime you do any work, boys and girls, you need to write your name. So up here, I'm gonna write Mrs. Burden. All right, and now my journal entry is done for the day. Let's read it. March 30th, 2020. The book was all about Posey. Posey wore a wig. And here's my picture that matches. All right, boys and girls, you are going to give me a journal entry about the book Posey the Pig. And then your parents are going to send them to me. I can't wait to see them. Do your best work. Bye.